Welcome back to Upper Michigan today. We have one more segment here. We are live at Shady Grove Farm. You just saw us go into Johnson Lake right here in Gwynn. It's uh, about 32 degrees today, the water. And Tia, we sat in it for two minutes. I honestly wasn't sure if you were going to do it. Um, so talk us through what you were experiencing. Oh, I've done a lot of things with you. I've seen you react in a lot of different ways. That was a first for me. I've never seen you hesitate. I, it, but then you did it. I, okay, I did it. Yep. I, I feel like for me, it was so much more of the mental barrier than it was the physical. Once I was in the water, once I was submerged, I actually felt kind of fine when I was breathing. I started to feel better. When we got out of the water and we were just in our little tank tops and we were doing the squats and stuff, I didn't even feel the cold air around me. Like I felt good, but it was in that moment when I was climbing in, I forgot to visualize what I was doing earlier about going in, being calm. I went in with the, with the oh no, this is going to be terrible yeah. mindset. Yeah. And so... You looked like you were in pain. I felt like I was in pain, not not necessarily physical pain, but I think a mental a mental block, a mental of. pain. Um, but you know, like you always say, it's so good to do hard things. <laughs> I feel good now. Sorry about my minor freak out. I don't know if you heard or saw me panicking. We all saw you. We all saw you, too, just so you know. It was live on television. Tim, is this a normal response? Is this something that you're used to seeing? And, again, talk us through what was actually happening with Tia. It's definitely a normal response. I see it a lot. And this was such a sped-up version. You know, if mm -hmm. you would have came to a workshop, it would have been a totally different experience. You would have been with a full group of people doing it. You would have done a full four rounds of breath work beforehand. You would have got the preparation email a month ago that had uh -huh. you start taking cold showers every day. So your body would have been much more adapted and ready for that extreme form of cold exposure that we just did. It doesn't get any colder than that. No, that was It doesn't was get pretty, any colder than that. Pretty intense. But did, did I do okay for my oh, first time? Can we scooch down it. a little you the did. smoke, guys? Let's, 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 there we go. I okay, hate thank white you. rabbit. Ooh. Yes, given the circumstances, you did so good. Okay. Yeah. I, you know, given the circumstances, I'd consider doing it again. Really. I have to say, this is probably, I've probably done it maybe 10 times now, right? And um, I was as afraid to do it today for some reason as I was the first time. It was much easier this time. It's been quite some time since I've done it. But I remember the first time I did it, it was the it was the prickling of my feet that I could not get over. It mm. hurt. That, that was it for me. It, it hurts is my so feet are bad. The only part of my body that I can feel yes. right now. But this time, it didn't hurt my feet at all. So does your body actually really truly start to adapt? Ab absolutely. Your body is designed to get stronger under stress. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. Short-term acute stressors are so good for you, and that's exactly what cold water immersion is. People do get neoprene gloves and booties if they want to um, alleviate some of that pain in their hands and feet. That's fine. You're not missing out on anything if you do that. So if it is, you know, really difficult for your hands and feet, you can always do that. Now, I'm already warmed up, um, which is, is wild because we were just in ice water. But as soon as we got out of the water, there are some techniques to kind of get the blood moving again. So talk us through what you do when you get out of the water. You don't just stand and shiver. Yeah, right. You want to get low and you want to activate your legs. And all the muscles in your legs are huge muscles in your body. It can help you generate heat. And so I like to do body weight squats. The Wim Hof Method, we teach the horse stance which is just getting nice and low and moving back and forth, doing some Tai Chi type movements. And that helps warm your body back up. And last time also a large group of the participants went and sat in the sauna. Uh, uh, so t wild, you sit in the cold and then you go in the hot. Is there some benefit to that as well? Oh my goodness, that's the <laughs> best. Um, doing rounds, going back and forth in the cold of the sauna. And a study I just came across, gotta tell you, is um, a 20-year-long study in Finland shows that if you sauna four times per week for just 20 minutes around 180 degrees, that you reduce your all-cause mortality risk by over 40%. Wow. So any any risk of um, stroke, heart attack, any cardiovascular-related issue gets significantly reduced just by going and sitting in the sauna. So it's, it's pretty amazing. Well, we all know that uh, the living in the Upper Peninsula, having a sauna is yeah. pretty common. We're, sa we're sauna lovers, and now uh, there's a good reason to be. I, I want to emphasize again a little bit about the safety because we just went out on a lake in a hole. Um, it could have 
not been great if we weren't doing it properly. We had you to instruct us, thank goodness. But if you're at home and you're watching and you're thinking, I'm going to go out on the lake and cut a hole, maybe not the best idea. Yeah, you really want to be careful. So there's three big safety points that we can discuss and need to discuss. Number one is small, slow, gradual changes. You want to start with cold showers and slowly work your way up to ice baths and then go out into natural bodies of water. Very important, just like anything in life. Small, slow, gradual changes. The second thing is have a buddy with you. Hypothermia is a real threat. Drowning is a real threat. Always have a buddy with you. If you're cutting a hole like this out of a lake, it'd be best to have a rope with you as well in case somebody does fall through. Third thing is you lose feeling in your hands and feet like you both just experienced. So your feet and hands are the farthest away from your heart. That, you know, your circulation gets lost in those areas first and foremost. And so you don't have the same feeling in those areas. So easy entry, easy exit. You don't want to climb over an ice shelf to get into the water and then have to climb back out. You don't have that same feeling. So make sure you have an easy entry, easy exit. I can attest to that. I needed your hand just to get my foot in my shoe because I was I'm like, I don't know if I can feel my foot to get it in the shoe and I didn't want to slip on the ice. So you do feel different when you come out of the water and it does it, just walking on the ice and bare feet. Yeah. I don't, I mean, I've never I done that. that. I've never done that either. Yeah. All right. Oh. Well, we did it, Tia. I'm we really did. proud of you. I I high five. I'm oh my so goodness. I'm so proud of you. It's the hardest thing I've done this year. Hey, and it's... What is We're it, January 4th? 4th? Yeah. <laughs> Only here. I want to thank you so much for uh, having us out today, teaching us a little bit about this. Again, we just got a very small snippet of what he covers in a Wim Hof workshop. Keep a, keep an eye on Train the Brain LLC for more workshops. I want to thank Randy, Randy for having us out to uh, Shady Grove Farm. This is a beautiful site. It's a wonderful place to have a workshop. It's such, I mean, the setting here today with the snow, it's cold and it's windy, but I don't think we could have asked for a more beautiful day. Seriously, and let's give it up for Tia and Elizabeth for coming out here and doing this and supporting me. It's trainthebrainllc.com. Thank you to Shady Grove Farm UP, Randy and Libby Buchler. we got an awesome instructor coming for these workshops this uh, upcoming weekend. Noah Eubanks coming all the way from Germany. They're going to be awesome, and I can't thank you guys enough for, for showing those love and support. It's been awesome. All right, we got to go. We want to thank you so, thank much. You so yeah. much for tuning in. Have a great day, everybody. We'll put all this online. I know I looked miserable before, but I'm actually so giddy now. <laughs> <laughs>